how you doing everybody my name is anthony and welcome back to the moon and uh we're back in this hospital waiting room with uh river over here and uh i think that might be john over there and uh, i just have to find mementos in the room yeah that is john excuse me could you please silence the clock that is a loud clock the ticking really bothers her her i was about to say me it's not that severe i'll be okay no problem it's standard policy if there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Oh, he popped right up there, didn't he? Thank you. Huh? I guess that explains the ones in the house. Yeah, yeah. I forgot he didn't have clocks that worked. Okay, nice. Clock ticking. They're gonna have a conversation. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Okay, that's it. Nice intriguing conversation. Platypus? Again? Stuff like platypus. Can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took care of it. Took good care of it. She's still got plenty of bad taste in animals, though. Why are you so insulting, not Watts? Jesus. <laughs> okay, I got another one. Is there any other ones I can do? That's still the platypus. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Or can I? Yes, I can. Doctor? Tony Atwood book note thing. That it in here? Yep. Oh. Here it is. A plain tawny handbag. There we go. Over there hiding in the corner. Alright, I'm getting better at these. Well, last episode it was anyway. The grids are getting bigger, so. There we go. I got it. There, across there, across there. And up on both. There we go. Eight moves. Not that bad. Okay, let's go. Travel back. In a theater now. Oh, he's gone by himself. Really young now. I mean, uh, I guess that's how traveling back in time works. Psst. Look. I know! I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped! Oh yeah, leaped way back there, didn't he? Holy overcooked macaroni! The kid's in the theater all by himself! What a loser! <laughs> Jesus, Watts. So mean. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. <laughs> but that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Very egocentric, Dr. Watts is. Where are you going, John? Sneaking off. And thus, the movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Alright, John. Where are you going? Oh, sitting in the hallway by yourself, I see. Whoa, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. Got two memories from that. Is this guy seriously memory? He's straight up disappeared. Okay. My game just freeze? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? That's the third person you removed here. That's actually the second. Yeah. Not like it's permanent. I didn't know you could remove people. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, you, am I just following John? Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there are no olives this time. Got a point. Where is this camera going? There she is. She'll comfort him. River? Oh, he already knows her. 
You were in this there. You were in there this whole time. Waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should get asked that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. What? We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? <laughs> what? We were watching the same movie in the same room. I mean, common sense. I mean, got a point. Is that, is that a laugh? <laughs> What's wrong? She just turned into a psychopath. You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Her phone went off. Of course I do. Come. Let's head back before it ends. The origin story of Johnny and River. Coming to a theater named you, near you. I messed up the joke. Okay. I feel like it should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. You can only hope. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the, the goddamn platypus. This thing is traveling through all the timelines. That. And that. There we go. Seven moves. Beautiful. Oh, I always forget I have to click on it a second time to travel back. Activate. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Back to elementary school. Still got the platypus, though. <laughs> Come on, dude. Grow some balls. Goddamn, Nicholas. Well, he's known Nicholas that long, too. Um, it's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. She could say you. That could happen as well. You strut like you strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and ev everyone will think you're cool. I couldn't read that sentence at all. But what if she tells someone or yells at me? Why would she yell at you? Don't be a little wuss. Oh, that was wuss that said that. Or or says yes, but really means no. Psh, quick worrying. Why would who would do that? What if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? That's, that's a weird anxiety. I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Oh, God damn, Nicholas. Dude, don't panic. This is my calming voice. Just straighten your spine quick being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell them. Thank you, Watts. Everything be alright. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, hey, way you. Shh. Ahem. Hello. Um, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> Is she on a microphone? Yes. Then why didn't you. Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About platypus? No. Oh. I have... I think that's great. <laughs> what? Hey, you wanna... Lighthouses? There are exactly 16 second order Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Thank you, River, for the fact of the day. Oh, is that what you're reading about?
um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. <laughs> oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Well. <laughs> Awkward silence. Eva, I think the system froze. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... Watch that smack in your face. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was? <laughs> well, just forget it. I'm not giving to your expectations. Give him a break. He was, j he was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Sh shut up as in my name, you know. Platypus memory again? Or is that the memento? Well, suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. Memory this time. River? Memory? Maybe? No. Joan and Nicholas memory. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would've just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you, go out with me. You, now. <laughs> That's just terrible. I know, it would've been still better than what you just said. <laughs> Nicholas has a way with the ladies. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Huh? Huh? Did she fucking throw an encyclopedia at you? Sh shut up, dude. <laughs> See? I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly, I feel loved. Alright, art room. Why did the music just stop all of a sudden? Kind of weird. Ran out of chords to play, I guess. Who are these kids? Oh, that's John. <laughs> Dear Lord, I can't believe you gave me the get got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. I can see you're a Picasso in the making there, John. Only if I can paint. You're good at good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Okay, I might hate not getting a memory. Why do we have to draw stupid barrels anyway? I'm not getting a memory from this. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Okay, I guess I'm not getting a memory from that. No. Oh. Go in here. Uh, let's go in here first. Anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> Just like being in school again. Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. But don't put all the pressure on her, God. Fine. I guess we'll have to... He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted El Perez de Guzman, which was on the mirrors of 14 by the... Okay, okay. I only asked for the date. Jesus Christ, River. But see, was that so hard? Good lord, does everyone with their condition have near photographic memory? I was just say photogenic. Not really, though I think their rote ro memory is often fairly strong. Let's go in this classroom. Go go down, thank you. Oh, I'm playing as Watson, didn't even realize it. Computer lab with John and Nicholas. Psst, she's coming this way. All tab, all tab! <laughs> Uh, another room over here. Locked. Cafeteria. Only open during lunch hours. Okay. Alright, let's go in this uh, room over here. 
that's a wrap. You chumps better, uh, better next time. <laughs> An atrium? We could use this place later. What? I just can't believe that the court lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> uh, Jim Coach. Doing some high level push ups right there. Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! Alright, one more. During lunch hour, so I'm assuming the cafeteria is open now. Yep, there we go. Oh, backpack. Goes all the way back to his elementary days. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there all by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making up words. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? She's like, it's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Um, if you're into aliens, all that sort of stuff, I guess. It, what have you been watching, Johnny? But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goss? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. Good point. The fact we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick, I just, I just don't want to be another typical in the sea of typical people. It's a philosophical thought for a friggin' 11 year old. Bro, how the heck would you be, end up, bro, how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. I mean, yeah. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy's some kind of... A human hogging hipster? <laughs> That's sort of uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. That's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? Yeah. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. And there we go. Alright, did I get another memory? Or do I have to click on John to get it? I still need one more. Um, right, there we go. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos with, when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Alright, there we go. Maybe I'll get a uh, memory from her. Reasons and intents and size, pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? 
I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Can I get a memory? Stuff like platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. Must have left as a big of a... It must have left a, as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Solves it. Alright, six moves. Let's go up. Over this way. Up. Diagonal. Up. And over. Let's go! <laughs> six moves, baby! Let's go! I didn't try to do that on purpose at all. This kind of just worked out. This is like early childhood, must be. Or like right before high school, maybe. I don't know. It hasn't progressed that far backwards. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. Ah, what if he was a girl? Would you still nickname him after his grandpa? Wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. Or E. <laughs> Joe E. Jewy, Jewel E. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, uh, jealous? Oh yes, so jealous. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode of To the Moon. And, uh, found out the origin story of how Johnny and River met. Obviously, you see the signs of the developmental disorder in her now. You see the, the great memory and the lack of social norms that she has with everybody in the school, really, because she's kind of a loner sitting by herself reading facts all the time. But I'm so excited to see how this story is going to unfold. So for now, Riva Dirty.